Hello, it's Jotna. Welcome back to my channel, guys. So, are your ovaries throwing a temper tantrum because it's that time of the month again? And for some reason, Mother Nature always likes to surprise you during the school week. But don't worry, we're not gonna let that ruin our back to school moment. This time, I'm gonna show you how to survive those period struggles that we all deal with using the hacks that I'm about to show you. So, let's get into it, starting with the first hack. So first hack is an easy way to tame the mess in your drawer to help keep your underwear collection organized which will help you get dressed up faster for school especially during those monthly flow days. So you're gonna need some felt fabric which you can find at Walmart. Then grab any kind of fabric glue but I recommend using a glue gun instead because it dries a lot faster. So you're just gonna draw two lines down the sheet dividing the sheet into three then stack another sheet right on top. Then draw three lines, first line in the center and then one line on each side, so three lines in total. Repeat this process, stacking the sheets as you go and switching between the glue lines. So again, draw the two lines and then the next one will be three lines. When you finish, cut the stack in half lengthwise. And then glue the two stacks together. I don't need to go over old and useless words. Now open it up and it will kind of look like an accordion. You can use all those little separate spaces for each of your underwear. Again, this is an easy way to organize and maximize your underwear options, especially when you're on your period. You're able to easily spot and wear the underwear you feel most comfortable in, and this will just really help you be more prepared in the mornings. Let me know in the comments below if you guys will try this DIY because this is my absolute favorite one. Second hack, you're already uncomfortable, so why torture yourself by squeezing your bloated tummy into those tight jeans? So in the meantime, what you can do is use a hair tie to loosen up your jeans. Just take a hair tie and slip it through the buttonhole. Create a loop and pull tightly to secure it. Then loop the hair tie over the button and this will add some length to your jeans, giving you a little bit more room to breathe and feel more comfortable at school. That one's brand new, still it's got nothing on you tonight. We got a Next hack, plan your school lunch the week of your period to make sure that you're not going crazy with salt, which is actually the reason you feel a little bit bigger than usual and bloated and just like overloaded with fluid. It's because your body retains water when you're eating lots of salt. Yeah, that really delicious double cheeseburger and fries, it's gonna make you feel more bloated. And you definitely don't wanna feel that way at school. So again, save yourself from tempting those salty cravings by giving lunch prepping a shot the week of your period. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? So next hack, I know this may seem a little bit silly at first, but it's so genius, I promise. Use your bathing suit bottoms instead of regular underwear during your period, because if you were to leak or something like that, it's so much easier to wash out than regular underwear. Just use a bottom that doesn't have ties on the sides because that would be just really uncomfortable and it'll look a little awkward. So again, make sure to use bottoms that have no ties on the side and are comfortable. So if you have a little accident at school, you can easily reverse it. So next DIY slash hack is how to make a ladies pocket underwear. It's the perfect place to keep an extra pad liner and not even just for school but pretty much anywhere. It fits perfectly and there is an ample amount of space. So just grab any underwear that you'd like, preferably boy shorts. And then use any kind of fabric or an old tank top that you no longer use. Draw a pocket on the fabric and keep in mind it needs to be big enough to fit a pad liner. Next cut out the pocket outline. Then place it right on the center of your underwear. Next, you're gonna need some fabric glue. Just glue the sides of the pocket and press down. Do this to all the sides except for the top. Let it dry and then it's complete and you can now use this as an extra secret pocket. It's just a smart touch to add to your underwear and you never know when you might need this. A pocket just instantly adds an advantage to any pair of underwear. 
Next hack, if you didn't know, index card cases are like the perfect place to store your period supplies. It's like the exact size that you need. It's kind of like a custom size holder, but for your pads and tampons. So just insert your supplies and it's a great secret place to keep your products compact and organized in your backpack. Next hack is how to make DIY chocolate spoons for on the go. Not only does dark chocolate taste really good, but believe it or not, it helps fight cramps. Just make sure that it's at least 65% cacao. So just add your chocolate to a bowl and melt it. And once it's melted, you're just gonna need some plastic spoons. Just scoop up a spoonful of chocolate and carefully place it on a flat surface so that it doesn't tip over and it can harden. Keep repeating this exact step until you're out of chocolate and you have several chocolate spoons. And once that's done, you're just gonna freeze your chocolate and place it in the freezer for an hour or so. And they're bite sized so that you can take it with you wherever you want in your backpack, in your purse. It's a great remedy for cramps, and you can just pull it out whenever you're not feeling your best. And plus, it's yummy, which is the important part. So this next hack really comes in handy when you're in the middle of class and cramps hit you hard. It makes you want to curl up in a ball, so you're desperately looking for a way to ease your pain. So next time this happens, try this easy pressure point routine for relief. So first, place your hands palm down on your lower back, and then next, move your hands into a V so that the tips of your pinkies touch. So the two pressure points will be located where the first and second knuckle of your ring finger is sitting. Now use your thumbs to push in and upward on the pressure points and hold. It really comes in handy when you're at school where there's really nothing you can do. Then this is a really good time to use the pressure point method. So that was all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And by the way, guys, I am having a giveaway. I am going to be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to participate is to make sure that you're subscribed to me. Boom. Give this video a like. Boom. And lastly, comment down below telling me your favorite hack from this video and why. And that's all you have to do to enter. So go on ahead and do that now, you guys, so that you don't forget. Oh, and also make sure to leave your video request below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.